Africa is the youngest continent in the world and the number of young people is just going to increase. And by, by 2030, actually, the workforce, uh, the African workforce will be the largest in the world. I think Africa will have a larger workforce than India or than, than China. And of course, the issue is what will these people do? Is this, is this an opportunity or is this a risk? I'm uh, hoping it's an opportunity. We all, uh, and we, it will be an opportunity, but uh, Africa currently faces a, a, a double trouble, if you want. It's, right. it's, it's both unemployment, and uh, our report shows that uh, the pattern we observed in North Africa of large levels of un uh, unemployment among uh, university graduates, yeah. graduates of, uh, uh, is, is actually found in, in most of African countries now. So you have growing unemployment of, of, of people with diplomas, with skills, yeah. But the, the, the Why is it like that? And is it a, p a problem that's peculiar to Africa only? Um, it's not necessarily peculiar to Africa, but it's, it's in a way surprising in Africa uh, because you would have expected that people with, who have better skills would, be, would get better jobs. Yeah. Uh, but this is, as I say, this is a double problem because on, one, on the other hand, most young people will mostly be underemployed. Right. That means they will largely work in agriculture, mm -hmm. and it will still be the case for many years, uh, and in the informal non-agriculture sector. And they basically cannot afford yeah. to be unemployed. Yeah. So they work yeah. in very low-paying, low-productivity jobs. Yeah. And why is it so? Why is there unemployment? The, yeah. I think the key reason is increasingly what we see, a disconnect between the education system and the needs of the mm -hmm. labor market. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is really a need for uh, probably more than a change of the education system, but rather a revolution of the education system. A revolution system. of the education system. Of the education system to open to the private sector, to open to entrepreneurship, and to really create those programs that intimately uh, respond to the needs of the, of the employers, as well as create uh, the, the, the desire yeah. to create businesses in African youth. But this is where the problem is, isn't it? Because then how do you find that confluence where you can bring in both government and the private sector to think in, in a like manner, if you like? Well, that's the kind of platform that every country needs to, to, to develop. And uh, we have our new initiative for uh, youth employment in Africa. It's a Africa Union, um, Economic Commission for Africa, ILO, ADB initiative. And this initiative first is really fostering uh, uh, the development of this kind of platform. First, understanding what is happening in the country. Right. Where, are, where are the jobs? Where is the unemployment? Uh, what do the employers say about their needs? We have many countries in which when you talk to a business, they say, we don't find the skills we need. Yeah. And on the other hand, we talk to graduates and say, yeah. we don't find jobs. Yeah. So there's something here that needs to be reconciled. Yeah. Now, of course, this is a long term problem. So in terms of perhaps fixing this, what sort of time frames are we talking about? What sort of uh, and who, who, who should be sitting around the table trying to come up with a solution? So I think in, in the short term, we really need to invest in, in understanding better, to, yeah. like understanding uh, what the uh, businesses need, understanding uh, um, the, um, the, the what, what is the, the, the landscape of the skills of right. the young people. And then you clearly need to create a partnership between governments, okay. between the private sector, between businesses, yeah. but also with academic institutions. Right. And this is really that opening of both public and private academic yeah. institutions yeah. yeah to enterprises, to businesses that is essential. Yeah, it's interesting we're talking about this because in South Africa right now there's a raging debate about a government policy to try and subsidize wages for youth in order to be able to get them into employment because you go to an employer they say oh no you don't have skills I can't employ you but at the same time so where do you begin? Chicken and egg situation. Mm -hmm. So I suppose in part your initiative is aimed at addressing such issues. Certainly it, it really aims at uh, you know we don't have uh, we don't have a magic bullet for employment if yeah. we had it would already be implemented uh, but what we know that some from some programs do work and and the kind of programs that actually really foster this this kind of uh, skills development support to entrepreneurship uh, support to investment also programs that provide funds seed funds for for young people to to invest in businesses also programs that support the employment of, of young people but really at the heart of it is is is, is the building of of ecosystem uh, to, 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 to improve the, the, the quality of the jobs 
uh, in the informal sector because most of the jobs today in Africa are in the formal sector. You know, it's, it's around 10% of the jobs that are in the formal sector. So if we want more jobs and better jobs, we really need to work on this, those jobs in the informal sector. And the key there is really the skills, starting with the basic skills in primary education, particularly for those in the agriculture sector, to improve the productivity, but also the important role of secondary education, because this is where choices are made about about which job, it's, it's where the role of, of the interaction between the schooling system and, uh, and, uh, and the enterprises is very important. And this is what the initiative tries to foster. Understand first, very yeah. short term, right. develop programs, yeah. evaluate those programs, and then provide financing instruments, financing mechanism to support those programs.